What's going on gamers? Back at it. I played Veiled Experts this couple of days after the launch of Early Access and I figured out that there are some stuff that people still don't understand in this game and one of them is Team Upgrade System. Well, what I see that people don't know what to upgrade first and what is the meta path to secure the victory. So before we reach to that topic, I will explain to you the team upgrade system in general and every single level in these three categories, armory, equipment and tactics. So these three categories have four levels in every single one of them and every level has an effect that buffs your gameplay and also it takes an amount of money to complete them. Level 1, 1000 coins. Level 2, 2000 coins. Level 3, 3000 coins. And level 4, 4000 coins. Anyway, about the benefits of team upgrade, let's begin with armory category. The level 1 unlock 1x and 2x scope. The level 2 unlock extended magazine. On level 3, you unlock 4x scope and suppressor. And in level 4, you unlock the AP magazine, which is increases the damage against armor and damage against explosives slash covers. The next category is equipment. Level 1, improved bandages. Well, as you can see, it will increase healing effect and bandages and an extra bandage is issued every round. Moving on, level 2, add armor plate. Well, it will increase base armor plus 50. Simple as that. Level 3, you get a thermal scoop. And in level 4, you get ammunition capacity and a stimulant. Keep in mind, stimulant has an additional effect which is increased movement speed by 5%. Anyway, the third category and the last one is tactics. Level 1, boost until, which is display enemy HP. Damage indicator, meaning that you can see the number of your damage when you hit the enemy with a gun, a frag grenade or gas grenade. Level 2, quick reload. You get reload speed increases for all firearms. The next one, level 3, called Black Market, well you get 20% discount on tactical items like armor, grenades, bandages and stimulants. Moving on, the last level, level 4, tactical vest. It will increase consumable item capacity and plus 50 armor. So these are the three categories. Well now I'm gonna show you the right path to go in terms of which category and which level to prefer it over the others. But before we start, make sure to communicate with your team, especially in the first round because you will have two valuable options. The first one, which is speaking level 1, armory, it will give you a red dot in your pistol. And the second one is to upgrade equipment to get improvement healing from bandages. But here is the trick. If you start with upgrading equipment, the next round you can upgrade to level 2 equipment. It's gonna make a huge improvement in your base armor, which is plus 50 armor. So it will help you to survive more and have a higher percentage to win the next round at least. So in my opinion, go for the second option, which is pushing equipment to level 2. It's okay if you play without attachment in the pistol round because you can play with the third person ADS. With some practice, it will work for sure. So to be clear, round 1 and round 2, Upgrade equipment to level 2, well for the third round you can upgrade level 1 armory and level 1 tactics and then from there this is the rest of the path that you need to go. Hear me out carefully. You reach level 2 armory and then level 2 tactics and by then you upgrade more in tactics to reach to level 4 so you can get the discount for your tactical items. Well it will help your team economy a lot. Also, you get an extra 50 armor to your base armor, so you will have 150 armor, and on top of that, you get extra slot for your throwable grenades, so you can buy 4 grenades instead of 2. Well, as you can see now, we have armory on level 2, 
and equipment on level 2 and tactics on level 4. Usually your team reach this between round 5 or round 6. It depends on winning and losing of course. Anyway, here we have another two options. Level 3 armory, it will unlock 4x scoop and suppressor. On the other hand, we have in the level 3 equipment a thermal scoop. What I think is you need to upgrade level 3 equipment. But hear me out, you upgrade it, it depends on the map. Because as we know, there is some maps that has some element that reduces your visibility a lot, like Wayne Farm or Derailed. Besides that, if you play in other maps, like Koreatown, you need to reach level 4 armory. Not even level 3 armory, because you will get in level 4 the AP magazine, which will help you a lot to kill the enemy much faster by making more damage to their armor. While the last thing in other ways, you upgrade level 4 equipment. So, as a conclusion, start to implement this on your games, communicate with your team, and try to apply this path. And I'm sure that you will get more wins than before. Trust me on that. Anyway, that's been said, that's gonna wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you can't miss anything about Verge Experts, tips, tricks, guides, updates, gameplays, everything will be on this channel. So have a good day, thank you guys for watching, and I see you guys next time. Peace out. Finish, finish. Oh.